Following years of delays and financial challenges, the multi-trillion shillings Lamu Port South Sudan Ethiopia Transport Corridor Infrastructure Project is now in full steam. Key projects like ports, railways, roads and other supporting projects are now taking shape. If you look at total upset um, project, we have about 11 different elements of Lapset. You know, from the Lamu port, to the railways, to the coal plant, resort cities, all those, about 11. It's been costed that in total, if you have to do everything, from the port to all those investments I've mentioned, including the railway from Lamu port to Isiolo, to Moyale, to Nakadok, Southern Sudan, in total, if you costed all those projects, the total cost about, it will vary, but I've seen one estimate going to about 40 billion US dollars. The project, which is expected to cost 4 trillion shillings, is attracting investors with the government saying investors from Britain, United States and China, among other countries, are lining up to invest in the mega project. Already, water and electricity has been connected to the site and the causeway to the port completed before schedule. However, the government will still have to deal with the question of land compensation, which threatens to derail the project due to various legal challenges. We want to come up with an index that happens in other countries, in Rwanda and other places. So there's this coding of towns. And you know from a certain point in a town, going into the interior, there's, there's a figure that you use, which is baseline. And you can easily be able to say, from this area, to that area, one acre will cost this amount of money. Today, Lapset has rolled out a 10-year master plan that details how the project will be financed. The master plan developed by UK-based project management consultancy firm Atkins has been divided into three phases. Phase 1 will take between 5 to 10 years to implement and will have the ability to create 22,000 jobs. Today, if you went to the port today, you'll find the extensive dredging works as well as uh, port platform construction are ongoing and even the coastway is more or less completed. Today you will not use the boat to go uh, to the port platform, you will drive to the port platform. Uh, extensive works have been done. Phase 2 is expected to create 117,000 jobs while the long-term plan is to have 1.1 million people living in the Lamu metropolis area which will have created 425,000 jobs by the time it is completed in the year 20. 27. O'Brien came in for business news hour.